Okay, so um, the, uh, the purpose of this screen recording is to show you the use of the TI Inspire to uh, help you to graph and label a parabola or a quadratic function. Uh, and so you can see that from the objectives, graph and quadratic functions in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And so you'll hopefully remember from Monday's lesson that um, we focused then on parabolas, which kind of have a U shape. And all of the parabolas we focused on were uh, centered right around the origin. So they had their turning points or their vertices right around the origin, which is um, where the x and the y axes intersect at 0, 0. And so what we're going to do now is focus on equations um, of parabolas that have uh, a bx term, they have this middle term, and what that does is it causes the uh, turning point of the parabola to shift away from the y-axis. Okay, and really what we're going to do is use the calculator to help us to find certain key components of a parabola, uh, and so those are uh, the coordinates of the minimum or maximum, which will be the vertex, uh, and of course, the graph can help us determine whether it is in fact a minimum, whether the vertex is in fact a minimum or a maximum, and then uh, axial intercepts. And so those are the points at which the graph intersects the axes. Uh, in other words, uh, if we look down at an example graph over here, uh, you'll see certain of the key components. So we have uh, the function name, which is uh, must be provided on the graph. Um, we do have arrows on both of the branches of the parabola indicating that it continues forever in both directions and this obviously has implications for both the domain and the range um, and then uh, here we have our y-intercept which is one of the axial intercepts it's the point at which the graph cuts the y-axis and here we have two x-intercepts so the points at which uh, the graph crosses the x-axis and so we're going to use the calculator to find uh, all of the coordinates of these points, uh, in addition to which, as you can see from the shape of this graph, uh, it opens up. And so it, uh, the, the vertex over here is in fact a minimum, uh, and we can use the calculator to help us to find the coordinates of that uh, turning point. And last but not least is this idea of an axis of symmetry. And so uh, you may recall I mentioned that parabolas are symmetrical and uh, they have a line known as the axis of symmetry a fold line if you fold it along this line then the two branches would uh, reflect each other exactly and that is a vertical line and so it has an equation in the form x equals and in this case uh, the equation is just x equals 3 because uh, that is the uh, x coordinate of the vertex which will also give you the equation of the axis of symmetry. Okay, and so below you see a little checklist of what it is that you have to provide when you sketch a graph of a parabola, determine if it opens up or down, uh, we have to find and label the axis of symmetry, find and label the vertex, find and label the y-intercept, and then this is important, we're going to find and label the x-intercepts, or, and so if there aren't any x-intercepts, then we are going to need to find two additional uh, points that we can use in our graph. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is go ahead now to the uh, example page and I'm going to take you through example one uh, using the calculator and uh, then give you an opportunity to attempt number two. Okay, so let me go over to the calculator. We're going to start on the home page. I'm going to create a new document and add a graph. And the graph that I want to add is of course the x squared minus 2x minus 8. So use the x, uh, the grade keys on the bottom, x squared uh, minus 2x minus 8. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter and it's going to sketch the graph of the function. So the first thing I want to do, as we can see, the parabola turns lower than my uh, axis, so I'm just going to grab that and slide it up. You could of course do that uh, in the menu uh, under the window, uh, window settings, or the zoom out uh, as an alternative to what I just did. Okay, so now what we're looking for are key points. We need the coordinates of our vertex, we need our y-intercept, uh, and we need our x-intercepts. Okay, and so uh, we're going to begin 
by um, uh, going into the menu and we have the analyze graph function and in the analyze graph function uh, the first thing we're going to do in this case as you can see from the graph we have a parabola that opens up so we're looking for a minimum so I'm going to click on that it asks for a lower bound so I come to a point to the left of where my turning point is so I'm going to go to the left uh, hit enter slide across to the right of that point hit enter and there we see I have the coordinates of my minimum um, which is uh, 1 minus 9 okay next important thing is to find the coordinates of the uh, x-intercepts uh, and so to find the coordinates of the x-intercepts once again I can use the analyze graph and this time what I'm interested in is a zero so that is a zero of the function it's uh, when the uh, it's the x value that causes the value of the function to be zero so I'm going to select that once again I need a left a lower bound and an upper bound so a point to the left and a point to the right so I'll start over here with the x-intercept on the right hand side so a point to the left a point to the right and there we have our first x-intercept at 4, 0 uh, and I'm going to repeat that process and so I'm going to analyze the graph look for a 0 go to a point on the left point on the right and there we have our two uh, x-intercepts uh, at minus 2, 0 and at 4, 0 uh, and really the last piece that I need to find is the y-intercept uh, there's a couple of different ways uh, that we can do this. Uh, the one is using um, the uh, table function and so we can have the calculator show us a table of values and really what we're looking for in the table of values is the value when x equals 0. So when x equals 0 that will give us the y-intercept because of course along the y-axis is where x equals 0. Now uh, that can also be obtained from the equation but I'll just show you on the calculator and so if we come in to the analyze graph and look at table one of the options is a split screen table so I'm going to select that option right now uh, and then all I'm going to do is just scroll up and what we have here are the x values when x is 0 y is minus 8 that's the value of the function and that is going to be our y intercept okay and so um, we could use the table for that uh, or we could alternatively um, go ahead and use the trace function as well and so if I go into menu and I select trace and I'm going to do a graph trace then what I should be able to do by using the cursors and scrolling is that it will as it scrolls along automatically um, uh, lock on to the y-intercept and if while it's at that point you hit enter it'll automatically provide a label for you and then we're still in the trace function as you can see from the top left here so we just need to hit escape to get out of that and what we've got now are all of our key components we have our y-intercept our vertex and our x-intercepts okay and so what I'm going to do very quickly is something you don't have on your calculator I'm just going to take a quick picture of that page so I can copy it on to my note all right and I'll just move that over there and this will allow me to uh, annotate the graph okay and so the only thing I haven't uh, included is of course my axis of symmetry and so um, I'm just going to do that freehand and so along there we have the equation of x equal to 1 that would be the axis of symmetry um, here we obviously have a minimum with the graph opening up uh, and in terms of our domain and our range our domain is going to be x is an element of real uh, so of course the graph continues uh, in uh, both directions forever and so the domain is all real numbers x is an element of real or you can of course write all numbers uh, and then the last thing to determine is what is our range so what is the set of y values uh, that apply to this graph um, and hopefully you can see that what we have over here is since uh, 1 minus 9 
is our minimum value that that y will be everything above that because the parabola opens up and so in this case y greater than or equal to minus 9 is the range of our function okay and that's how you use the uh, calculator in order to find the key components of a parabola and at this point you should go ahead and try example 2 and once you've tried that you can watch the second video which will give you the solutions.